Hello fellows, welcome to my channel. This channel is entirely dedicated and created for educational purposes only. Here you can find high quality educational materials to learn the basics, whether you are a beginner, more advanced or an intermediate trader. For people that want to see more action, you can check the link on the top right corner. Here we are proving our methods with real accounts. We trade for several years and we show that it can be done profitably. You can subscribe as all profits go to our subs. You can find all the details about our accounts. However, since you are new in trading, using real money is almost forbidden. Practice will make you better and do not expect fancy cars and fake promises. Trading is real challenging and the numbers are against you. You won't need any money to start and everything is totally free. For most of our videos, you will find the link in the description that will lead you into a more advanced version of the video. But as beginners, I do not recommend. Stay with the basics and demo trading. So let's begin your journey. supports and resistances, bread and butter for traders. The market repeats itself, but not in the same way. The main idea is very simple. We try to predict the market by using historical data. Support and resistances are some important past prices areas that we are expecting future prices to react. Let's look at the very basics. Here is a very simple image about what are supports and resistances. The market moves in waves. This is the first thing we observe in the market. Moves up, pull back. The highest point reached before it pulled back is now resistant. Resistant levels indicate where there will be an excess in supply, an area where there are too many sellers. Prices pull back at these areas and continue up again. The lowest points reached before it started to pull back is now support. Support levels indicate where there will be an excess in demand. In this way, resistance and support are continually formed as the prices moves up and down over time. The opposite effect takes place when we have a downtrend. As the market moves in waves, previous supports becomes future resistances and the opposite. Supports and resistances are the same areas of price and we will explain later in this episode. We trade the same simple principle. Buy when the price falls down, support. Sell when the price rise towards resistance. We trade the breakout until the next resistance or support. Buy when the price breaks out through resistance, sell when the price breaks down through support. Sounds very simple, right? Well, it's not, and you will see why. Support and resistance are not exact numbers, are areas of prices. We will see how indeed market loves round numbers, but for the moment we need to understand the main concept. Many times market is testing support and resistances. So in this case, if you want to trade the breakout, make sure it's not a fake out. Make sure that prices keep closing above. When you are trading, there is no certainty. We need to speculate based on statistical probabilities. Even though the prices keep closing above, this doesn't mean you will have a successful trade. The market will trick you several times. So here comes the question. How do you truly know if support and resistances were really broken? Well, you don't. A rule of thumb is when prices start closing above or when we have some full body candles. The debate can go on and on. Let's see some examples. Here we have the Euro USD. As we can see, the prices are moving to the downside. They go down, pull back up and down again. The areas are areas of resistances. Previous supports becomes future resistances. This might sound clear, but it's not. Most of the time, this is what you will see. The Forex market is trending 80% of the time. Don't get excited because we don't know when the next major trend will start and for how long. The more often prices test a level of resistance or support without breaking, the stronger the area of resistance or support becomes. This might form a double, triple bottom and so on. We will explain better in future episodes. When a support or resistance level breaks, it's important to check the time frames. The bigger the time frames, the more solid support and resistance levels they can provide. When the prices passes through resistance, that resistance could potentially become support. Remember what we said, previous resistances becomes future supports. 
trend lines are the first step in technical analysis. Your first baby step as a chartist and the most misunderstood. Accuracy when drawing correctly can provide deadly precision in your trading strategy. Most of the time as a new traders, you try to make the lines fit the market instead of the other way around. This is the most common mistake for new traders. We have ascending and descending trend lines goes without saying and by definition this is when we have uptrends and downtrends. These trend lines provide some movable supports and resistance levels that the market most likely will respect. Remember nothing in trading is written in stone. The chaotic behavior is what makes people quit trading in a couple of weeks. We draw the trend lines by locating tops or bottoms and connecting them with a straight line. In this year of years example we have a trend line to the downside and an uptrend line as the market seems to have reversed at this point. Simple as that, right? Well, yes, you found it. It's simple as that. Remember what we said. The market won't necessarily respect these lines. We have three types of trends. Down, up and ranging. We will discuss what indicator to use for each of these cases, but it's still too early. This has already been explained in a technical analysis part in the indicators, but let's stick to the basic. We need two points to draw a trend line. But as a common rule, we need three to confirm a downtrend or an uptrend. Don't draw your trend lines and force them to fit the market. Channels. One step further in our main theory regarding the trend lines, we will see channels. Prices move in waves, either up or down, forming channels. This price channel are another tool in technical analysis. They will be very helpful to identify some good points to enter and exit your trades. Again, these are movable support and resistances. Acting as support and resistances depends the market condition. When the market ranges, we have another form of channel. Usually in this area of consolidation, market builds momentum. A breakout is most likely to happen. You will find more details on how to trade channels and breakouts in the video in the description below. Both tops and bottom channels represent potential area of support and resistances. Channel with negative slope shows that the market is bearish and positive slope shows that the market is bullish. There are several mathematical interpretations in the market on how to use limits to calculate slopes. We will present an experimental indicator that uses this principle. Again, don't get excited. There is no whole grill in trading. Some fancy math simply won't work. There are several theories you can find but again, at these stages, it's too early to discuss. We create a channel by simply drawing a parallel line at the same angle as the line and then moving that line to a position where it touches the most recent peak. This should be done at the same time you create a trend line. The same applies either to down or to an up trend channel. Also, if the market is ranging. Like the trend lines, we have three types of channel. Ascending, descending and horizontal channel. Very important when you design a trend line is both trend lines must be parallel to each other. In your trading platform, you will be able to draw parallel channels. These channels will be obvious after the market makes a move. This is the hardest part in trading. The idea is to try to predict where the prices will move in the future. Again, never forces your line to fit the prices. A channel boundary that is sloping at one angle while the corresponding channel boundary is sloping at a different angle is not correct. This type of chart pattern is no longer a trend channel but a triangle or a pennant. We will see later on about triangles and pennants. You will learn to identify them by experience in time. Try to have a picture of the market. These lines are not perfect. Market won't respect them. You will encounter several times. The market will keep going out of these boundaries. All these are some imaginary lines. However, in time and as you trade you will become able to identify them easier the lines won't be perfect again they won't look perfect thank you very much for watching go back repeat the chapters you are not sure and trade safe so that's it for now thank you for watching our videos i hope you enjoy you know that we need your subscriptions likes and comments for the youtube algorithm help us to make more content and uh, trade safe